Services. Oscar Aguilar. I'm Joel Tierney. Jay Peckman. All right, and what we're doing is Muscle Ocean. And Muscle Ocean is going to help people who live in, who like to stay fit in Colorado and California by providing a healthy and reliable source of hydration. And our brand connects our customers by our logo, product, and our final design. Our test markets are in Colorado and California because there are many places there where people can keep fit. Um, our bottle is shaped like a dumbbell to promote fitness. We added vitamins to our water, uh, such as vitamin B6, B12, and C, to make it healthier than other waters. Uh, we decided to advertise in fitness magazines and gyms, because that's where our, uh, our test markets are going to be. Um, it's mineral rock, mineral water, so it contains more magnesium and calcium, so you get, you know, a magnesium and calcium supplement. So, uh, it should be more appealing to the fit and the sedentary, and we're going to market this in, like, the West Coast, where, you know, most people are doing fitness and all that. We will know if our plan worked, if we have a larger customer base and an increased income, and the investors should get a larger customer base and by advertising to those who like to stay fit in states like Colorado and California where people like to stay fit. Talk to me about how, what is that? What are we shooting for in our first year of operation? What kind of customer base are we looking for? What's realistic? Where are the competitors? What do they do? What do you think is realistic in that first year? Um, I feel like we would start in like fitness center, fitness centers, and start advertising in fitness magazines, and just kind of start in that kind of area, and I guess move on into grocery stores and things like that, and see so more. So, stuff. talk to me about either in sales or in number of customers, what you think a goal should be for our company to say yes, we achieved this, or no, we did not in that first year. So you said the way we'll determine is if it's successful is by our customer base in that time frame. So what is that number? How how many customers do we want in our first year, or how many? What's the dollar amount in sales to be determined if we're going to be successful or not? Um, I'm not sure on dollar dollar amount, but once we get a solid base and just continuous sales, we can start. Million dollars, ten million dollars, hundred thousand dollars. What do you? Um, Um, this is a unique packaging, right? And mm -hmm. you feel that that is your key differentiator, or is it more about what's inside of the vitamin supplements? It's more about what's inside of it, because uh, we're appealing towards healthier, more fit people huh. to work out and stuff. And, um, the bottom kind of shows that because it's a dumbbell. Right. Do you think that? Why do you think that adding vitamin supplements to the most pure water source on, in the United States is the best decision for my, my investment to purchase this? Well, to make it healthier, pretty much, and um, to make it healthier and uh, for the better people, you know, they like to be healthy, they like to be fit, they like to have energy, get all that. Yeah, we're uh, kind of appealing towards those that, I guess, uh, do lighter activities like jogging and then those that you know, do curl ups and deadlifts, and also those are just pretty sedentary and just like to drink water and not really do exercises. So uh, the extra minerals are probably more appealing towards all those people. Okay. Good job, guys. Thanks.